Hi, it's Melissa from Welsh Design Studio. And when it comes to choosing the best white paint color for trim in your house, there's a handful of colors that designers turn to time and time again. Why? Because they're the best and they tend to work with a wide range of colors. So regardless of which wall color you're choosing, one of these whites is going to work perfectly for your room. And these are the whites that I recommend to my clients all the time for trim. First up, we have Benjamin Moore's Chantilly Lace. This is a really popular choice amongst designers because it's just such a bright, crisp, clean looking white. Chantilly Lace will work with pretty much any color you use on your walls, which makes it a really versatile choice. If you're planning to paint your walls in off-white and you want a trend that looks brighter and whiter for just that tiny bit of contrast, Chantilly Lace is a great option for you. The only complaint you'll ever really hear about Chantilly Lace is that it can sometimes look just a little bit stark or icy depending on the lighting conditions in your room. So here's a good example of Chantilly Lace on full display in this beautiful entryway. It's painted on everything, the walls, the ceiling, and all the trim. And you can see that it's just a really nice, pure, clean white. Number two is White Dove by Benjamin Moore. White Dove is one of my all-time favorite whites. It works for everything, for exteriors, interior walls, doors, cabinetry, ceilings, and of course, trim. It really is just a jack of all trades. White Dove has just a very nice softness and warmth to it due to its grayish base, but it looks pretty neutral and gorgeous in a wide range of applications. So if you're thinking of painting anything white in your home, you need to put White Dove on your list of colors to try because it's just that good. Third is Benjamin Moore's Simply White. Simply White is a really beautiful bright white with a slight yellow undertone, which just gives it a nice softness. Simply White is not only great for trim, but it is a really fabulous color for kitchen cabinets and walls too. For rooms that get a lot of natural light, Simply White is gonna look like a bright white. However, if your room is just a little bit darker or your wall color is also really light, Simply White may not be white enough for you. And in certain lighting, you might even see that slight hint of yellow coming through. At number four, we have Sherwin-Williams Pure White. Pure White is a really neutral white and it has some more gray undertones to it. Because it has just a hint of warmth to it, Pure White can work really well with both cooler and warmer wall colors. It also happens to be the darkest of the whites on my list, which makes it a really good option to pair up with some of the darker wall color shades that you might choose. Pure White is great with grays and other neutrals, and it works really well for kitchen cabinets too, especially if you're thinking of bringing in a marble looking countertop. Next up is number five, Decorator's White from Benjamin Moore. Decorator's White has been considered just a classic color for trim for many years. It is on the cooler side, however, with just the slightest blue-gray undertone to it. Yet, it still comes across as soft and it's not usually overly harsh. It tends to work best with cooler paint colors and it can give you a really nice crisp white color that you might be looking for. Just a word of caution, be sure to sample this in your home because in certain lighting conditions, that slightest hint of blue can come out. Last but not least, we have Sherwin-Williams High Reflective White coming in at number six. High Reflective White is a true bright white. It's very neutral, very light, and it will work with pretty much any color you put on the wall. A word of caution, however, it is the brightest of the whites on my list, so it could be overpowering in a room that gets tons of natural light. Okay, let's shift gears a little bit and do some question and answers about white trim colors. First question is, should you paint your ceilings the same color as your trim? Now, I am a big fan of white ceilings, so my answer is yes, because when you have a white ceiling, you can easily change your wall colors over time without having to repaint the ceiling, which is fabulous. Having your trim color match your ceiling color also creates a very nice cohesive look. Just be sure to use a flat sheen for your ceilings and a different sheen for your trim, which we're gonna talk about more in just a second. Should you match your trim color and white kitchen cabinet color? I would say yes, most of the time. You don't have to match your cabinets and trim color, but it can definitely make your life easier and create a more polished look, like you can see in this picture. However, matching your trim color to your cabinet color and then using that trim color throughout your house may not be your best choice because your trim color is also going to influence your paint color selections on your walls in other rooms. So for example, if your kitchen cabinets will be an off-white and you decided to paint all of your trim indoors throughout the house that same off-white, 
then whatever paint colors you're considering for your bedroom or your living room or your office need to also work with that same off-white trim color. And this could limit your choices a little bit. Let's just say that if your white kitchen cabinets are painted the same color as any one of the six trim colors that I just recommended in this video, then you're pretty safe using that same trim color throughout your house. What paint sheen should you use for trim? You should use a satin or semi-gloss sheen for your trim and doors. Today, satin sheens are really popular for trim, cabinetry, and doors, and so that's what I would recommend. That's because the satin sheen has a little bit more of a contemporary look, and it gives just enough shine without looking shiny. Semi-gloss has a bit more shine to it than satin, uh, which means it's going to be a little more durable and it's going to be easier to clean. So it is a great option for spaces that will need to be cleaned often, maybe a high traffic area like a mudroom, or for those of you who do prefer a little more shine. Just avoid high gloss because today it's just too shiny and it will end up looking dated. If you paint your walls white, should the walls and trim match? Ideally, yes. For white walls, it's best to match your trim color and your wall color. Use the flat sheen for the walls and your ceilings and then use a satin or semi-gloss for your trim and doors. The difference in the paint sheen is going to create a really nice visual separation between your walls and your trim and it will help them stand apart from each other even though they're the same color. And you can see this in action on this picture here where the walls and the trim are all painted the same color but you can really see the difference in sheen and that really helps each one of them stand apart. Last question and maybe the most important, how do you choose the right white paint color for the trim in your house? Well, the best answer I can give you is that you need to sample the trim colors in your home together with your wall color in order to choose the best white paint color for your trim. But I do have a few more tips and guidelines that might also help you narrow things down. In general, you wanna use softer, warmer whites for darker wall colors. And the reason you wanna do that is because it will help soften the contrast between really dark walls and a light trim. Next, most of the time, cooler wall colors like blues, greens, are gonna look better with a cooler, crisper white trim color. On the flip side, warmer wall colors are going to look best with warm or neutral whites for a trim color. If you're thinking about painting your walls a really light color, like an off-white or really light gray or light grayish, you're gonna to wanna to choose a bright, crisp white for your trim that will help create some contrast. It will help differentiate between the trim and your light wall color. I hope you enjoyed this roundup of the best white paint colors for trim. And one word of advice, be sure to sample the whites in your home before you choose one. It's the best way to know which one is gonna work with both your wall colors and look best in your lighting conditions. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss a future video.